Picture for me, if you will, a woman clad in black lamenting the untimely death of her husband. Sitting at his graveside, she begins to weep. Overcome with mourning, she has this visceral need to clutch onto every ounce of the tangible, salty grief that's pouring from her eyes. And so she produces a lacrimatory bottle with which to catch her tears. Some say she will continue to mourn until the day comes where all of the tears evaporate. Others believe that she will return to the grave exactly one year and one day after the death, at which point she will pour out the contents of the bottle. It's a good story, right? A romantic one, but I'm sorry to tell you that it's all a big fat myth. These lacrimatories were actually just Victorian perfume bottles, and historically speaking, they're really no different from the sample bottles of perfume that you might get from a Sephora today. Nevertheless, we obsessively romanticize Victorian mourning, and stories like these capture our imaginations, but when you're in the throes of grief, you know that there is nothing romantic about it, and we should never let romance be a substitute for accurate historical information. Morning in a Minute is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon.